Hello, viewers and student friends. Today, we are going to deal with another chapter, that is, imitating the English gentleman. Imitating the English gentleman is an autobiography. The original was written in Gujarati and was later translated into English and other Indian languages. The book is in five parts, beginning with his birth up until the year 1921. This lesson, Imitating the English Gentleman, is found in Part 1, Chapter 15 from the story of My Experiment with Truth, written by Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi. Before we jump into the lesson, let me give you a brief account of Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi. He was born in a Hindu family on 2nd October 1869 at Porbandar and died on 30th January 1948 in New Delhi at the age of 78. He was an Indian lawyer anti-colonial nationalist, and political ethicist. He employed non-violent resistance to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule, and in turn inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. The lesson imitating the English gentleman, written by Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi is a description of Gandhiji's struggle to adapt or fit himself into the Western culture while he was studying law in London. Gandhiji was a vegetarian. Salt's book increased his appetite for dietetic studies. He read all books available on vegetarianism. Howard Williams' The Ethics of Diet is one of them, which was a biographical history of the literature of human dietetics from the earliest period to the present day. As a result of it, dietetic experiments came to take an important place in his life. Health was the principal consideration of these experiments to begin with, but later on, religion became the supreme motive. In this lesson, Gandhiji gave an account of how his life in London was full of struggles for him, because he was a vegetarian which his English friend disliked and was much opposed to the idea. Gandhiji's friend was also concerned and worried that Gandhiji's vegetarian habits would badly affect his health in the long run. Then an idea struck Gandhi's friend to transform him from his vegetarian habits. So one day, he invited Gandhiji to go with him to the theater. Before the play, they were to dine together at the Holborn restaurant. The friend had imagined that Gandhi's shy nature would forbid him from asking any questions in the presence of the other diners. But it was not so. When the first course of meal was brought to them, Gandhiji wondered if the soup was a vegetable soup or a non-vegetarian soup and summoned the waiter to clarify what the soup was made of. The friend saw this and became angry. So he asked Gandhiji to leave the restaurant and wait for him outside, telling him that he was too clumsy for a decent society. Gandhiji left quietly and looked for a vegetarian restaurant nearby but it was closed. Thereafter, Gandhiji accompanied 
his friend to the theater without saying a word. After the incident at the Holborn restaurant, Gandhiji decided to make it up to his friend for his vegetarianism and started to take measures by cultivating other accomplishments in order to make himself suitable for English society. Firstly, Gandhiji changed his Bombay cut clothes and got new ones from the army and navy stores. Bought a chimney pot had costing 19 shillings, which was expensive in price those days. He wasted 10 pounds on an evening suit made in Bone Street and a double watch chain of gold. Then he started spending 10 minutes every day before a huge mirror in arranging his necktie. Lastly, he also started taking lessons in dancing, violin, and elocution, only to realize later that all these would not make him a true gentleman, and that if he would become a true gentleman, it would only be because of his character. Here, the line, Mr. Bell rang the bell of alarm in my ear and I awoke, refers to Gandhiji's realization. Gandhiji realized that he was a student and ought to go on with his studies and should qualify himself to join the Inns of Court. Gandhiji describes the realization as Mr. Bell rang the bell of alarm in my ear and I awoke. After this realization dawned on him, Gandhiji gave up on his pursuit of becoming an English gentleman and emphasized on building a good character. He reminded himself that he was there in London for the purpose of studying law and was not going to spend a lifetime in England. So, Gandhiji eventually gave up the idea of pursuing a false dream of becoming an English gentleman. Gandhi said that the infatuation lasted about three months is about the task he took up to transform himself to an English gentleman. He also said that, but hands forward, I became a student because he undertook all impossible tasks of becoming an English gentleman to please his friend. He later realized his foolishness and abandoned his desire to become an English gentleman. Gandhiji wanted to say that since he was a student, he should pay more attention to qualify himself to join the Inns of Court. In this lesson, we have the theme of identity, acceptance, change, perception, and tradition. After reading, the reader realizes that Gandhi may be exploring the theme of identity, all of which Gandhi hopes will help him to fit in with his surroundings and be accepted by others. However, there does come a point when Gandhi realizes that he is living a lie and that he is not only fooling himself but also denying his tradition or the fact that he is an Indian and not an Englishman. Dear students, we learn from the lesson that we ought to go on with our studies. We should also remember that character makes a gentleman and not dress. So, that's the end of the story, Imitating the English Gentleman, written by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Thank you and see you in the next video.